guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to create this scary half skull makeup look for the Halloween and uh, this is the first time that I'll be creating a Halloween look and everything is my own personal idea so I hope that you will like this video so if you want to know how to get this half skull makeup look for the Halloween then please keep on watching So guys, I have primed my face and uh, I'm taking this Fabicol uh, Craft Glue which is non-toxic and very much safe to use on your skin. So I'm creating an oval shape on the right side of my face as you can see and also a little bit on my left side and blending it out with the help of a sponge. This is a regular cotton which I have taken and I'm just uh, putting it on the areas where I have put the glue. So I'll be creating an artificial flesh like uh, thingy on my face so I'm just doing this. This is a regular tissue paper I'm cutting it in small strips and putting it on the top of that uh, cotton which I have applied. I'm just cutting out the edges of the tissue paper uh, so that it looks very much even and clean. Now taking a little bit of water with the help of a flat foundation brush I'm applying it on that tissue paper so that it will look nice. So for the base I'm going to use this package liquid foundation and I'll be putting it on the left side of my face even on the tissues which I have applied. I will just leave the space around that circle where I'll be putting some other foundation and uh, I'm taking this Elegol Pro HD foundation in the shade natural which is quite light for me and this one is a dewy one so I'm just putting it uh, within that oval, oval shaped uh, thingy which I have created and where I'll be creating that artificial skull so I'm just blending it out now this is the L'Oreal gel liner in the shade black so i am just gonna create a circle around my eyes covering up my eyebrows as well and also i'm gonna fill up that region with the help of that same gel liner this is the studio west pure passion eyeshadow trio and i'm going to take that jade black shade from that trio and apply it around my eyes where i have applied that gel liner this is an intense black eyeshadow now to tightline my eyes i'm going to use this vela Voste smoky kajal now i'm taking that uh, silver shade from that same eyeshadow and applying it all over my right side within that oval shape uh, where i am gonna create that artificial skull I'll be also putting it within that small circle which I have created on my left side. Now I'm just cleaning out the edges with the help of a black liquid liner so that it looks much more round and circular. Taking this fine liner brush from Zoeva and with the help of the same gel liner I am just drawing lines from the side of my face and uh, dragging it towards my mouth to create that artificial mouth of the skull and blending out the edges with the help of that same black eyeshadow. Now this is a sugar I told you so liquid liner and I am drawing straight lines all over my lip and over my cheeks uh, to create that teeth and uh, it's very difficult guys and it's very difficult even to explain so you can see what am I doing over there. So I'm just uh, blending out the edges so that it might look a lot more teeth like. You have to blend the edges very nicely so that you can create that teeth very well. I'm doing the same on that uh, left side as well. Now I'm gonna create that small veins all over my face within that skull to make it more natural now drawing a little bit of nose of the skull and this is how my face is looking now so for doing my left eyebrow i'm using this nika brow chica wow pencil and i'm just drawing my eyebrow with it and blending this out with the help of a spoolie 
Now for concealing my left eye, I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny and uh, I'm just putting it under my eyes. This side guys, I'm going to create a full glammed up look. Now to set my face, I'm using this L'Oreal Matte Magic Compact and I'm just setting the areas where which is uh, peeking through. Now for the eyeshadow and for my high makeup of the left eye, I'm taking this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and taking that light brown shade and putting it all over my crease as a transition color. Taking this uh, reddish rusty shade and putting it in the outer corners of my left eye and just dragging a little bit uh, towards my crease. Now to create a depth, I'm taking this dark brown shade from the palette and putting it in the outer corners of my eyes and blending it very nicely. Now I'll be doing a half cut crease look. So I'm using this Maybelline concealer and cutting my crease half away. And taking that pink shade from the palette, I'm just putting it all over my lid. Now to add a little bit of glamour, I am just using this champagne shimmery shade from the palette and just putting it at the center of my eyelid. For the lower lash line, I am just using this uh, transition shade uh, again all over my lower lash line and uh, followed by that pink shade very close to my waterline. Taking that shimmery shade again, I am just highlighting my brow bone and also highlighting the inner corner of my eye. For tight lining my eye, I am using that Vela Voste Kajal. You can see this is how my face is looking now. I'm just smudging out the kajal a little bit to create a lot more depth and smokiness. So for the liner, I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Felt Tip Liner and just drawing a regular winged eyeliner with it. Now for contouring and bronzing up my skin, I'm using this Sugar Contour The Force Mini Bronzer and I'm just bronzing up the areas where I generally do and which is peeking through. So I'm just putting it in the hollows of my face, on the side of my left uh, left side of my nose and uh, on my forehead and also contouring my jawline with it as well. Now I'll be having a pair of false eyelash and this is Pac Mink eyelash. So for adding a little bit of color on my cheeks I'm using this Brazilian bombshell shade from Nika Get Chicky Blush Duo and I'm putting it on the apples of my face basically on the apple of my left side of my face for the highlighter i am going to use this maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold and i'm just putting it on the highest points of my left side so this is sugar smudge me not liquid lipstick in the shade brazen raisin and it looks gorgeous so i'll be just uh, putting it on the side of my lips of the left side And you can see it's such an intense uh, red shade now I'm gonna take this ADS matte me uh, lipstick in the shade chrome red and it's a blood uh, red shade so I'll be just using it to create artificial blood on that uh, region where I have created that uh, artificial flesh looking thingy so I'm just spreading it all over that region and uh, blending it out with the help of a sponge you just need to blend it so that it looks much more natural and flesh like taking a little bit of makeup setting spray uh, in, into this brush I'm just putting it on that region so that it looks much more blend out and intense so this is how my face is looking now guys and this is how I created this look and it looks quite uh, scary so this is a finished look So guys this is how I created uh, my first Halloween look for 2018 and uh, I have tried my best to create this look and I 
hope you like this video and if you did then please hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel we'll see you soon guys happy halloween bye